Hey guys, Brittany here. Um, got a short video for you. It's nothing crazy. I went to an independent yarn store today. Um, it's local to me. First time I've been, um, what's it called? The Joy of Knitting. It's called The Joy of Knitting. Um, and I got some things. So I'm going to share those things with you. Now most of these can be bought, you know, at like the big online stores. Um, but... I wanted to support her because, you know, I went and I wasn't going to walk out without giving, you know, my contribution to her business. So, this first yarn I know right now on sale, like a major, major sale, it's usually like $13 a hank, I think. Right now it's like $2.60 on Premier's website. And that is Good Earth. Yes, Good Earth is on major sale on Premier. So, Definitely go on there and see what all they still have available. They don't have this color. This color is Jade. Um, and I really wanted this because I love this color. And like I said, I wanted to support her. And I knew I would like this. So Good Earth. $12 a hank. I got two. It's the Cotton Linen Blend, of course. And it is 47% linen. 53% cotton. It says crochet hook size 5.5. And... A half, and Needles size five. I'm sorry, this is millimeter by the way, five and a half and five millimeter. Um, it's a four weight yarn. Like I said, color is jade, so it is very pretty. And I got two of those. Now, this is it's a stiffer yarn because of the linen, but you know, it's actually relatively soft. It feels like you know, if you just if you go to the store and you buy. A new shirt or something that's kind of what it feels like um, but I know it softens up after the wash so I don't know what I'm gonna make with that yet but it's gonna be beautiful whatever it is now I got two Hanks to go together but they're both different brands the reason I got them to go together is because they just happen to have the same colors so it just kind of worked out to where I could get both of them and it looked good so that's why I got both. Sorry, I'm just kind of rewinding this hank. It was a little on the loose side. Um, hold on, let me get this to cooperate here. There we go. All right, so got a Noro, which I've never had and I'm really excited about getting. Okay, this is, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Shirato, Shirato, um, something, 50 grams, 180 meters, 45% cashmere, got a fuzz in my mouth, 45% angora, 10% wool, um, I don't see a weight. But I would say, I mean, it goes up to a four and probably down to a three. Um, here is the back of the tag. Let me get it where it's not. There we go. Okay. Here's the color. Look at those colors, you guys. Oh. And then the one I got to go with it, it is a four weight, most definitely. It's Jill Eaton Minnow Merino. By the way, I got this 20% off, so I did not pay $32 like the tag says. 20% off of that is, uh, you know, whatever that is. Um, and then I got this Jill Eaton Minnow Merino, also 20% off. Look at the yellow. Oh, it is is so pretty. I love it. So, Jill Eaton. 100% super wash merino. 77 yards, 50 grams. I'm reading this backwards without my glasses. Hmm. I'm impressing myself. Classic Elite Yarns, it looks like, is the main seller of this yarn. So I will be making something with these two held together. 
Well, maybe not held together even, but, you know, like, these two colors will be used in a project together in some form or fashion. Now, the last one I got, I got in two colors. Um, they are both the same yarn, just in different colors. Um, and the reason I got it is because I've been wanting to try a silk yarn, and she had a silk yarn. So, I mean, it's not 100% silk, but it is Classic Elite Yarns. That is the brand, and this yarn is Classic Silk. 50% cotton, 30% silk, 20% nylon. Also got this for 20% off. And 50 grams, approximately 135 yards it says. And made in Italy. So I got these two colors. This is like a salmon pink. And then this is... That's, I mean, the colors are pretty accurate. So, very pretty. Um... Do these to say the color names? No, it's just 6933 for the green and 6985 for the pink. So that is my independent yarn store. I wouldn't even call it a haul. Uh, trip, maybe. Um, very happy with these yarns. And this, I mean, you can tell it's Angora because it's got all the hairs. See the hairs all over it? Either that or this lady's got a dog. But I didn't see one, so I don't think that's what happened. Um, but anyways, you guys tell me what you think I should make with these yarns. Because I don't know what I want to do. Um, especially this Noro and uh, the Minnow Merino. Don't know what I want to make with these, so let me know what I should do with these. And with my linen cotton, I'm thinking about placemats for my mom's house. This smells like wool. This does not, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, you guys let me know. Um, otherwise, that's it for tonight. I will be visiting another store called Bliss Yarns in the future. Not sure when because right now they're not allowing customers into the store. They're only letting you come up to the door. Um, and they got like a table set up there, which is kind of weird. But I mean, if you're going to be open, be open. Because people that have never been in there are going to want to walk in the store, but they're not allowing you to. So I wasn't very happy about that. But it's their store. They can do what they want. Um, anyways, you guys have a great rest of your night, and I will see you later.